In this tutorial, we'll be looking at over-under systems. To start an over-under system, simply give your system a name as always, and then from the drop-down, select O slash U, and hit Create. With over-under systems, the filters will display a little bit differently. Instead of just a team you're betting on or a team you're betting against, you're looking at the teams while you're betting either the over or the under. It's usually a good idea to go to the line info section and select over under first. This way you're automatically telling Bet Labs whether you want to look at overs or unders. You can always change this filter later if you need to. In this case we'll select overs and hit save. So now anytime we select a filter going forward we're looking at the over record. So for example we can go back up to team info and open that and we can look at either team, which just means if the team was playing in the game, doesn't matter if they were the home team or the away team. Then we can quickly see who the best teams were for betting overs in our database. We'll go ahead and close that filter. We'll now look at public betting data. So let's go down to over under percentage. For this filter, we're looking at the over-under percentage of bets, and we've already told it that we're looking at the over. So these are the over results when this percentage of bets is on the over. So for example, if I did 60 or higher, this is the ATS record of overs whenever the over is getting 60% or more of the bets. Again, you could use the graph, and you could refine that a little bit more. You can find your endpoints there. You can easily use the graph to find solid endpoints. Just make sure you're not overfitting or mining your system. Again, you can always look at the graph. And you can always click on the Past Matches tab. Here, you can see the play shows play on over rather than a play on the team. We could also delete the over filter by clicking the red X. And we'll hit OK. As you can see, the record will change. Because now we're betting anytime the over or under is getting 61 to 74 percent of the bets. You see, we'll have both overs and unders now in this system. One thing you would have to be careful of is 40 to 60 percent you're going to be looking at an exactly 50-50 record. Because in this case, an over and an under is both going to hit on the 40 to 60 range. For example, if over has 40% of the bets and under has 60% of the bets, you're taking both sides of the same game, which is why you end up with your 50% record. We'll go ahead and close that filter. And we'll go ahead and delete the over-under percentage filter. Start again. Same thing, since I haven't selected over or under, Bet Labs doesn't know if I'm looking overs or unders yet. So we could do division or non division games, and again you'll see the record's going to be exactly 50%. So in this case, we're taking the over and the under every time there's a division game in the NFL. That's why it's normally a good idea to start with the over under filter whenever you're building an over under system. You can always go back and change the over to an under or an under to an over after you've built your system. Most of the filters that you see in over under will be very similar to the ones you saw in the spread money line. If you do have any questions, you can always look at the about filter section, which gives you a description of how the filter works, or you can always click on the Bet Labs home and click the live help button, we'll be sure to help you out.